Hi everyone, so for today's topic, we are going to talk about the indirect flat panel system. And before we go further into the discussion, I would like to briefly explain what exactly is a flat panel system. It is actually an image receptor that is used in digital radiography system. What it does is that it converts X-ray light into electrical charges, which then will produce an image in digital form, which is a metric of pixels, each with a numerical value. Finally, a digital image will be displayed on the monitors. So we go dive deep and understanding how does the process work for indirect flat panel system. And without further ado, let's get started. Just like I mentioned earlier, the indirect system has a two-step process. The first one is that the X-ray photons will be converted into light, and the light photons will then later be converted into electrical charge. This flat panel system consists of phosphor layer such as gadolinium oxysulfite and thallium dioxysium iodide. The scintillation layer can either be structured or unstructured, but unstructured will produce more scattered light, hence reduce the efficiency of detector. It also consists of photodetectors such as hydrogenated amorphous silicon. The digital sign is read out by thin film transistors, TFTs, or charge coupled device, CCDs. Now this is the difference between structured and unstructured. As we can see from the diagram, unstructured indirect flat panel system uses CCDs while structured uses TFTs. Next is the TFT layer. So the first layer is scintillator. It is made of a cesium iodide. Its function is to convert X-ray to visible light. The next layer is photodiode. It consists of amorphous silicon. It converts light to electrical signal. The last one is a thin flat panel transistor or TFT. The function is to read out signal and will produce digital image. Moving on to the next one is CCD. The scintillation layer within the CCD system are optically coupled to each CCD sensor sheet by either lenses or fiber optic. CCD are able to convert light photons into electrical signals and send the electrical signals to the computer for processing. So how does it work exactly? Well, firstly, the X-ray photons reach the scintillator. The scintillator then convert X-ray into visible light. Visible light produced is proportional to the incident energy. The visible light is then converted into charges. Then, it will convert to electrical charges by photodiode array. Lastly, the charges is read out by thin film transistor array or TFT. There are a few advantages when it comes to indirect flat panel system. The first one is that it has an active readout, meaning the image viewing is immediately. It also uses more compact technology, has a shorter acquisition time, and it uses discrete detector element. But of course, there are disadvantages as well. Using the indirect method, it first converts extra energy to light prior to electrical signal. This will cause a risk of blurring caused by the scattering of light photons. That will be all. Thank you for watching.